My name is Nasir Pirasti, and I'm sculptor artist. First time I put uh, my foot in American uh, ground, it was in Washington, D.C., 1970. Uh, it was in month of July, 30, almost seven years ago. I came here because I, I taught first to go to university and study art and finish. And I liked always to be teaching in university. That's what I began, and I finished my in four years education, and then I went for my master program, and then I finished MA and a a MFA in two uh, field of uh, sculpture and 3D. Step by step, one leads to another step, another step. And meantime, the progress comes. Uh, and at the same time, many, many difficult things are around you. Number one, the English language. Number two, the traditions. Number three is, uh, it's hard in some time, a hard land of America to make a name and room for yourself. Everybody, they expect you come as a visitor. Okay, now it's time to go. Little by little, I start to thinking back home is a revolution, and I decide to stay here. My first love after my personal life is art. I really enjoy what I do. I love to do it, and I cannot wait to wake up, get my hand dirty, work with the stone, turn to his day. I-beam, uh, irons, and cut, break, do all of those things. Design, bring my mind. I write when I write. I want to bring that writing to the stone, to the jhana uh, janan, to uh, all of those little pieces of uh, stones I work, put my little philosophy in it, and uh, express myself as best as possible. I love what I do. My father was in back home in Iran. Uh, he was a painter, artist, good artist. My first education has been with my father, very, very young. I was six years old. Uh, I knew I will become a sculptor artist. I knew it, I loved it. I did work with the clay and uh, I just knew this is my future is going to be. After graduating, you know, you just want to be professionally uh, artist. It's very difficult. You think you're going to come here and suddenly you're going to be overnight success. It's nothing like that. For 15 years, I've done all kinds of other things to bring financially myself to the point that I can be comfortable, sit and do my art. I've been here up to today, almost 36 years in this country. Some days I'm American, some days I'm foreigner. Remember, I've done, in my youth, I've done a lot of projects in, back home in Iran, but I wanted to do it again. There are always, always, in my mind, the streets, the alleys, the old school, everything, in, in the back home, 
it's always in my mind. But at the same time, I'm looking for future. I go forward. Because of the forward and hard work I have to do, I need to choose another route, another way, another go, as much as it makes easier for me. Truly, it does not make any difference where is my address. I built up a lot of equity here, and this equity cannot be suddenly put in away and moving. It wouldn't be lost, just like I have never lost back home. But the reality is reality. Reality is a very difficult thing. We need to be together. One world, we are living in it. We cannot pollute it. We cannot destroy it. We cannot bully each other. We need to be friend of each other. I did speak before I did put this in my philosophy. Without fine art, civilization will die. And this is a no joke. So we need, before gun, we need civilization. Before bullying each other, either as an individual or country, we need to reach to each other. We all have good things. Africans have good things. European has good things. Middle Easterns, they have good things. South Americans, they all have good things. We need to understand each other before we conquer each other, before we control each other. There is no need for that. How much we're going to explode each other? We have enough care and knowledge. We are smart. We are very smart people. Why don't we use our intelligence all the time? Instead of being somebody bully to the other small country, we cannot not realize them. They have a lot of smarts. There are too many of hunger around. I believe with the spark of mind, it has to come to the body, come to the hand, go on a material. Either it's painting, music, or uh, sculpture. It needs to have that process. That process is extremely important. It's not that important to build this sculpture or paint it. It's important to think and bring that process to the work, bring on, on the stone, on the painting, on the canvas, or write it, or compose the music, or write the opera. The process is the thing. Is the process has to be with the discipline, has to be with the hard work. It's not going to come with the easy thing. Yes, we do have this work, but you need to develop it. True, my work is part of me, is my work. That's supposed to have some message. That message goes out and inspires another artist, inspires another child. If a child sees my work and understands it, I think I've done my work. But there is interest, has to be. There is interest in needs from the parents, in needs from the teacher, our society. Instead of giving them a gun, give them a brush. Instead of giving them the bullet, give them a piece of clay. Or put the organ or piano or Make them, uh, take them to theater. Take them, the, the people to the theater. Let them express themselves on the theater. Doesn't matter what's the subject. Let them create the art, fine art. Truly, civilization is art, art is civilization. There is no other. For sure, that's my belief in DNA of ourselves. It's in the down gene of ourselves. It's the way we go, we choose the route. We can choose the route of art, we can cho choose the route of war. It's both choice. 
in this one is nothing but danger, in this one nothing but beauty. Let the children from very young hear beautiful music, see the beautiful thing. Their, their mind is going to grow with the beautiful things and create beautiful things and think correctly with the relaxation, with the real uh, pause in between. Calm down, think about it, choice and go forward. When we live with the noise, danger, sounds one after the other, there is no pause, there is no relaxation. Our body becomes such a hyper thing. Our, our uh, ADD becomes way, way, way more. We all become impulsive, compulsive action and reaction to uh, fast and things. I don't mind things to be fast. Yes, I want to even sit in the airplane to be fast. But at the same time, I need to be sit down, relax, and take, take a pen and write a soft, memory of myself. If we crank all the time, go fast and do things with a lot of noise, there is no room for silence. Silence is beautiful sometimes. We need that silence. Silence, calm, that do you see the horizontal, the sunset? That gives you that relax. Do you see the vertical line? That gives you the stability. Do you see that 45 line? That's the sport, action, noise. You cannot live with action, noise constantly. You have to have that flat line. You have to have that stability. I really, really believe people are listening. People are listening because they're hungry for it. Because there is too much negative things are out there. So they look for positive things. Filmmaker, theater, writers, uh, all kinds of fine art people. And we are part of this world. We cannot destroy it. Every filmmakers are responsible for society. Every uh, uh, artist, they're responsible for society. Every uh, writers are responsible for society. They must step forward for the softness instead of aggression, for the beauty instead of being rough. We need to communicate. The communication is there. The, the best part of the communication is to have the time, sit and communicate. Doesn't matter what language, how, sign language or uh, communication, without any interruption. Word to word, sense to sense, feeling to feeling. That is the communication. We should not lose our feeling. And the feeling is in the base of two and two as a group sit down and shut the TV off and make a little tea and sit down and talk and let words and sentences go around everybody's feeling, everybody's viewpoint. That's the best way to do it. We need to step forward because the whole world is going forward. Our clock is going forward. We cannot go back. Meantime, we have a duty and we have sensibility. We have nice things to produce and project we must do. In any way, there is a conversation through the art. That's beautiful. And then there are other people, they really, they are thirsty. They are hungry for good art, art in general. I see in my lifetime, I see there's more artists out there. But if there is art, is to my taste, is matching with my taste or not, that's a different story. I need to be artist inside to project out. 
I do the art, you be the audience. Either you like it or you don't. It's not my problem. My problem is to create what I think. My problem is to get to work. My problem is to put, make sure I am satisfied with what I put out. I'm done. I think I am a reporter. I report the history the way I see it. Nobody is, nobody is going to conduct me. Nobody is going to tell me to twist the history. No. I see the way I see, I'm going to report the way I see it. And that's my taste, my feeling, my philosophy, my creation, the way I see that. Yes, I was so uh, upset with my heart. You know, the two tower of New York got demolished by a mistake of someone or some group of people. That's why I create that 911 uh, sculpture to report, to put it in the history, the truth. I think when artists, they put their history in the truth on the stone and the metal stays for thousands and hundreds of years, it becomes a fossil, that's the real history. I don't like to repeat things. I don't like to make things like a factory from one thing, hundred of them. That's why I work with the stone. That's why I bent the I-beam, H-beam, they use it in the building. I twist it, I, I make something out of it, I want to do it once. I don't repeat things. I maybe work on the serial of a one subject, one story, maybe 20 of them, but they're all different. I never make things. And then stone has the ability of correction and straight. Stone has their own character. When you look at the stone, it has its own color, its own texture, the history, the fossil, the density of stone. One has zinc, the other one has magnesium, the other one has copper, the other one has gold in it. The other one is totally calcium. Each one has their own beauty. So its beauty and my work, they collaborate together. It becomes my language. Maybe I'm speaking English, but that language is better than mine. That language speaks me much better than my English or my native language. So that's why I pick up stone. I, don't, I am not afraid of challenge of hard or sometimes they break. They break. I start it again. Every subject has their own softness, beauty, meaning, the poetic part of it. You know, it's my feeling about it, many, many, many subjects. It has to come together, just like a composer. They write the music, they know what to do. Why? For what subject? Influences are all around us. All we need to look very delicately, very clearly. Uh, maybe we need to pick up a magnified glass to look better detail. Uh, there are good writers are out there. There are good theaters are out there. There are good people are out there. There are small little heroism constantly around of us. If we listen to them, back to that silent, back to that quietness, and we hear them. Sometimes you look at the blackboard, black thing, you think it's black. It's not black. There's many colors are there. You need to look differently. So inspiration is all around, all around. It doesn't matter, it's from the sun up to sundown, from the beginning of this music to the end of that music, from 
this writing, this theater to the other theater, movies, uh, my story, your story, everybody's story. Its inspirations are all over. We need to learn how to listen, how to find, where to dig to bring it out. When you love your work, you don't want to stop it. Professional artists, we just do the way we think, the way we want it, the way we want to break things. We don't like somebody break it and give it to us. We want to break it ourselves. We want to bend and do things the way we do. It has to be freedom, otherwise artists cannot do their thinking. It has to be total freedom. Freedom of any kind, any which way you are thinking, or artists is thinking. It has to have a freedom. Freedom has no pull and push, no laws. Laws, they become later. I am not expecting everybody should like me. Everybody should want me. I'm going to do what I am. I must do what I do. I am. I don't have to go knock at the doors to say, hey, this is who I am. I am already doing that with my work. My work is explaining me. That's good enough. I'm independent. In, the, in, in my vocabulary, my explanation, my philosophy, it is that. But if there is another way of explaining further, I, I think I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm done with it. I want to establish artist's mind. This is what I'm trying to do. It's very important to put it the way I'm putting it. Maybe it does not make sense on the other side. That's okay too. Because the establishment of the art thinking, creation of mind, it's this, as simple as I said. I would like to be independent the way I have been, and I believe I am independent, and I will think from A to Z, sketch it, execute it, and go forward the way I want it. I think that's independency. My work is my message, my philosophy is my message, my hard work is be recognized as a message, my, uh, my life should be part of the message. I have experienced people, they come and share that with me, I am so happy about that, but I, I feel like I have long run yet to go with my message, and I'm hoping other people to join with what I see, what I do, and they take it from there. If I can inspire them, that would be fantastic. And then they can grow this tree as big as they can, and I am very happy. So I've done my job. That, that is my message. <laughs>every individual message, if it's a good message, it becomes a chain by itself. It becomes very powerful. It becomes shaking 50 people, 500 people, 5,000 people. It becomes that. It needs to have a good message.